welcome to my channel Flame with a 4. In this video we're going to be doing stage 64, the control boxes and the gurney rails. So the gurney rails are the ones where they go on to the bed on here and it will load up uh, the uh, the stretcher and stuff like that. So we get to put those in. I've seen that a lot of people have been having a little bit of issues with how they go on but we will kind of see if we can figure them out. You will need to, need to go grab your dash as well because we're going to be installing that, so that's going to be really cool. But first of all, we're going to take out all our pieces, see what we've got, and we'll be back in just a sec. Right guys, now that all our pieces are out, we'll just go through what we get. So we've got OP screws, AP screws, and IP screws. It seems that with the AP screws, they do have silver AP screws and black ones. So. If there's any on your model that you think, you know, they shouldn't be black and they're AP screws and you want to do them for silver ones, you always get spares, so you could always swap them over. Right, so the first thing he's asking for us to do is attach um, this section here. So this is 64A and it looks like it's got all these little control boxes down on it. And uh, let's just move these out of the way for a second so you can see what we're doing. And where that wants that to go, is just down in here in this section here so what we need to do is we just need to put it into place and then put two AP screws in the back there so that will just sit in by the looks of things on there like so uh, and I think it kind of sticks up out the top there I'm not too sure I'm pretty sure oh it wants us to go that way around sorry so it goes just sits in that corner like that if we get Mike Lane's mod, we will possibly have to take that out to be able to install that, but that's not going to be too much of an issue. Only a couple of screws to remove. So I'm going to go grab a couple of AP screws. And I think I've got my um, right end on this now to be able to do these screws up. So hopefully that they this is all right. And then we need to put that down into that section there. Can you see it there, guys? Yeah, you can see where it's going. And then we'll just pop that screw in there. There we go, do that out. So that's spinning again. So again, I haven't got the right screwdriver end. We'll go back with trusty long reach screwdriver. We just need to screw that up. Don't over tighten these guys. They are only plastic, okay? They're just plastic. Uh, let's do this one. So that is now in place there. So as you can see here, so this is uh, 64A, which is that section there. And then that's held in by two AP screws just on the back here. So there's one there and one there. So there are two AP screws holding it in the back. So that's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Kind of finishing it all off, making it look really nice. So the next thing that it wants to us to install is on this side, just here. And there is uh, a couple of little holes there. I don't know if you can see them, two little holes here. And this is where this piece is gonna go, this section here. And that sits in there like that. And what they want us to do with that is they want us to attach it underneath. So what we'll have to do, we'll have to flip it up like this way. And then under here, there are two um, screw holes just under here where they want us to attach it. So I just need to bring it around so I can actually see it as well. So we can see where they've got to go. And they want us to put in two AP screws again. So two black AP screws for that section too. Uh, the good thing is it's got a bit of a recess to get them started. So that's always handy. So we can just start them off and then get the trusty screwdriver. Take your time. Do those up. Remember guys, this is plastic and do not overdo them. You do not need to overdo it. You want to make sure that it's holding them, but don't like raw them up so tight that they're going to split the plastic and you're never going to be able to get them out. I'm going to start it with this screwdriver because this one is magnetic and then I'm going to finish it with the other one. I just got to stop being too lazy to go find a screwdriver that's gonna do it all the way up, that's magnetic. That's what I need to do, guys. So 
So that's pulling that into place, perfect. Right, so as you can see here, there are two screws under there holding that main section in, one here and one there, two AP screws there. And then on the inside, you should have something that looks like that. So just a little box, kind of like just finishing off that corner section here, like so. Um, it is hollow from the back and you can see that it's hollow. So it's not great. Uh, it could probably have been a block, which would have been a lot better, but hey ho, we can't um, be too picky, I guess, maybe, <laughs> or can we? <laughs> probably good. Right, so the next thing we need to do, we need to install what they call these gurney rails. Uh, there is a picture of them being completely um, done at the bottom here. So I'm just going to quickly study that uh, and where they're facing like into each other, which is kind of like what kind of like a train track would kind of be. Hmm. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do it how they say. And if we need to change it, we'll need to change it, which is fine. So I'm just going to place them in where they say they, they want them to go. So how they're asking for it to be is so they're kind of like in case. I don't think um, any of them are different to each other. I think they're all the same. So all you need to do is place them in position. So what they're asking for is them to go in to make like a sort of like a runner, I guess, that would hold the wheels. Uh, and you just need to do four of those and as you can imagine they're going to be pretty tedious putting all these screws in so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and speed build through putting those in there like that so that's how they want it to look so that when you load it, it will the wheels will run into there which is fine so we'll keep it like that and we have just got to do this so we're going to have to put op screws in so i'm going to go ahead and do that quickly uh, speed build through doing this and then we'll be back as soon as i put those in so i'll see you guys in a sec Okay guys, the rails are now in place. So this is what it should look like. So I'm only going by the images that's on the magazine where I feel like the wheels would go into here. Um, where they're showing it on this, they are, they are showing the same thing. So I mean, I don't know where people were getting um, confused with this, but it seems to be pretty simple, but we'll see what happens. Um, when when we come to putting it all together if it has to come out it has to come out so right so the next thing it's asking us to do is to install the dash so that's pretty cool we get to put the dash on so i'm going to just go grab the dash and just see how what it wants and how it wants us to do this so it wants us to do it this way around and what it's saying for us to do, it wants us to put some IP screws on top first and also wants us to put some IP screws underneath. So we'll do that, that's cool. So the first thing we need to do, I don't know whether these cables need to be on the outside. I'm guessing they do. We'll see. But I think that we could probably just get away with them being like loose like this because they're not asking for them to go anywhere at the minute so what we need to do is line up the top section first here and then I'm going to put in uh, an IP screw in one corner just to kind of get it keep it into place get my trusty screwdriver out and then I'll just put this one in and then hopefully we're not going to tighten them all the way up because we want to make sure it lines up first. So we're not going to tighten them like right up at the minute. We're just going to just put them in and just start them off because we want to be able to move this dash around a tiny bit. We'll probably tighten the top ones up when they're all in place. Right, so that's knowing it. So it needs to go right back. There you go. So leave that loose. And remember guys, these are IP screws. There's four along the top and then there's another four along the bottom, but they're on the corners of the bottom. So just push that in with my thumb, start doing that up nicely. There we go, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way up, yeah. And we're gonna put this one, ooh, put this one in. 
that wire is in the way there. The blue wire. No. Right, let's see if that goes in nicely. Push that in. There we go. So then I'm going to do this one up tight and then do that one up tight. And then this one. And then this one. Right, so they're they're in place there. So they're the they're the four that are they're asking for us to put in along the top here. So we've got one there, one here, one there, and then one just there in that corner there. So when you've done that, you will need to just flip this onto its side, and then underneath there are two more just under here which we need to put in. We'd start with the bottom first. So there's two here, so there's one there and one there. Same as the bottom, one there and one there. Uh, as we've shown you already on the back, there were four that go along the back of the dash. The dash is a little dusty where I've been storing it, to be fair. <laughs> I need a little clean. But look how cool that looks. All the dash is now in place. Looks amazing. The rails are in place. Looks absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look, see if there's anything else we get to do in this issue. If not, then we'll have to join us again. So the next one, we're going to get to do the PCB speaker and wires is stage 65, guys. I cannot wait to do that with you. Get to show you what we've got up and coming. So we get to do this all in the next one. So cables are always a nightmare. Wires and cables are always a nightmare. Um, usually because they never go well, but hopefully they're not going to be like the DeLorean and they're going to go a lot easier. So guys, you've been watching Flame Wheel 4. I hope you like this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe just by clicking down here. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you're building this, let us know what you think of the build. And then also, if you're not building it and you're thinking about doing it, let us know as well. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.